Hi, I'm Joe Hubner, Yield Point Specialist at CHS and Shipman, and the purpose of this video today is to show you how to print reports using Ag Studio Select. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to go to a field layer, and I'm going to look at the harvest data for field one. So after expanding my management tree, I get to my grain harvest for field one. Now there's two different ways you can print reports. If you go up to tools up here in the right hand corner, there's print reports or print current map. I'm going to go ahead and select print current map. And what this does, it brings up in a separate tab on your internet browser, it brings up the current map that you're looking at. So in this case, the harvest data for field one. And now you can look at it and you see your legend down here, kind of your minimum, your maximum, your averages, and a picture of the yield. So after that, I'm going to go back to Ag Studio Select. I'm going to show you a different way. I'm going to go ahead and click on Test Customer. So I'm going to sit at the grower level. And what I'm going to do now is click Print Reports. And what this does, it brings up a print report box. I'm going to go ahead and expand this list. These are all the available reports. So see here, you can click on Yield Book, and it'll print the yield for every single field under the grower. Or what we're going to do in this case is I'm going to do the Soil Test Report Map and Summary. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I can change the subject if I want to, and I can change who I want to email it to. Once I click OK, it'll send a report. And what the report will look like in an email is it sends you an email, and then it has a link. Once you click this link, it brings up in a separate browser the reports that you wanted. So since I clicked on Soil Test Summary, it brings up the report for all the fields and their current soil test. And it'll show you the pH, the potassium, and the phosphate levels. So that's just a quick way on how to print reports using Ag Studio Select. Thanks for watching.